Bear your feet. It's time for a strength test. Most likely, this is what the groom will hear during a traditional South Korean wedding ceremony. Family or groomsmen tie his ankles with a rope, and everyone beats his bare feet. If he can handle that, he'll be able to handle life's daily struggles without blaming his wife and children. This is not the only country with an unusual wedding ritual. From smashing pottery to shedding tears and being banned from the bathroom, we're taking you on a global journey to look at some of the world's most unique wedding traditions. Where is the groom? Can't find the groom. Could you help me find the groom? No, you don't see him either? Well, I'll tell you a secret. He wasn't supposed to show up. This is a kumviva. It's part of a traditional Indian wedding ceremony. But there's one difference. Instead of the groom taking part, a clay pot takes his place. After the wedding, the pot gets drowned in a pond or river to take away bad luck after the marriage. This ritual is performed if the bride has Mars in certain parts of her astrological birth chart and readies her for a real partner. If you're ready to get rid of old dishes, sinks, or even toilets, you can use them at a German Polterabend. It takes place the evening before the wedding ceremony. The highlight of this event is smashing porcelain objects to wish the newlyweds good luck in their marriage. We're ranking this tradition 4 out of 10 on our extrema meter. Wait until you see what earns a perfect 10. No one is nice to the bride and groom during a blackening in rural Scotland. The couple's friends cover them with all sorts of stinky, gooey food such as rotten eggs, fish guts, and dog food, and they parade through town. Scots believe that nothing can break the marriage after the couple survives such humiliation. Les potes de chambeur is an old French tradition. After the wedding reception, the guests collect the leftover food and drinks in a new chamber pot and hand it to the bride and groom to drink from. It's supposed to give the newlyweds more strength to enjoy their wedding night. But it doesn't end there. Witnesses and close friends go to the newlyweds' bedroom and create havoc until the bridal couple drinks all the liquid. Today, it's a tastier tradition, where the guests present a chamber pot with bananas covered with chocolate and topped with champagne. Ooh. Did you know that the first record of a marriage ceremony dates from about 2350 BCE in Mesopotamia? Back then, neither religion nor love played a role in marriage. The main goal was to bond the woman to a man to ensure that her children were his biological offspring. In China, the crying ritual begins one month before the special date. A Tujia bride doesn't need any special equipment or circumstance. She just needs eyes full of tears. She must cry for an hour every day before the wedding ceremony to show her unwillingness to leave her family. While spitting is illegal in some countries, it symbolizes good fortune among Kenya's Maasai tribe. What kind of wedding would it be without wishing the bride good luck? On the wedding day, her father spits on the bride's head and breasts. After accepting gifts from the groom's family, the bride's father and the elders repeat the ritual. This tradition earns a 9 out of 10 on our extrema meter and brings us to the top of our list. Excuse me, may I go to the bathroom? Um, not if you want your marriage to succeed. No! In Malaysia and Borneo, the Tidong people post guards outside each newly married couple's home for three days to stop them from leaving their home or using a bathroom. Where are you going? They believe violating these conditions will bring disaster upon the couple, such as unfaithfulness or the death of their children. <laughs> 